Hey there. I wanted to go over this. I posted this on social media today. Where, where is it? Oh, look at that. Barbie and Rocket Mortgage. It's a little meme someone made from the Super Bowl ad. And the ad, the, the commercial, if you didn't see the commercial, it's all about how Barbie got a mortgage with Rocket Mortgage. And there's Anna Kendrick, who I love, uh, talking about Rocket Mortgage. And the meme says something to the effect of the fact that Barbie got approved by Rocket Mortgage tells you everything you need to know about Rocket Mortgage, which is a sentiment I hard, heartily agree with. And I posted that on my social media and I made a little comment on there that if you're writing your offer with Rocket Mortgage in a competitive market, you're putting yourself at a disadvantage. In that there are very few realtors who will see your Rocket Mortgage uh, pre-approval letter and think, oh, that's better than any other pre-approval letter. In fact, there's no one who's going to put it anywhere but on the bottom of the pile. You know, the ad is ridiculous because it has the rocket mortgage beating out cash, which is never going to happen. But besides that, no one's going to take it over a locally, locally underwritten mortgage. And I had a couple of friends ask why, and I explained it there, but I want to go into a deeper dive here. Why would a rocket mortgage loan be uh, a competitive disadvantage for you in a com in a competitive market, why would someone, why would a, a realtor discount your offer? Well, there's two basic reasons, okay? There's the meta, there's the overview reason, and then there's the micro, the local reason. Let's look at the local first, and then we'll talk about the meta reason. The, the local reason is because your loan is controlled by the underwriter, okay? It's not your loan officer. It's certainly not whatever happens on the app. It's not what the person at uh, the bank when you walk in. It's not even the loan officer at any lending institution. It's the underwriter. The underwriter is the is the person that works for the lender, and they have all the uh, the restrictions and all the constraints and all the conditions and the requirements that the lender requires to make sure that if that they're not giving their money away to the wrong people, that they're not lending to the wrong people. So the underwriter is the person who goes through your loan application with a fine tooth comb to make sure that you really do qualify for the loan that the loan officer said you did. In the case of Rocket Mortgage, it's that whatever the algorithm on the app said you qualified for, the underwriter is the person who really has to make sure that that happens. And the longer the chain of command is between the person that writes your loan and the underwriter, the less likely the loan is to close on time. And the only thing the listing agent wants is the best mon most money and the best terms. But neither of those things matter if the loan doesn't close. And loans don't close all the time. A real estate transaction is complex. There's a lot of moving parts. There's a lot of things that change over the course of the time it takes from contract to close. And those things need to be managed. And the underwriter needs to be, in fact, managed by the loan officer that keep the things moving around. If the underwriter has a lot of work to do, say a lot of refinances to do, or they're uncommunicative, their personality is uncommunicative, or they are, I don't know, distracted in some way, or they're just disinterested. I don't know. They're, you know, they're, they're not a consumer facing job, right? They don't, they don't have any customer service responsibilities particularly. So who knows what they're doing? And the further they are from the loan officer, the harder it is for the loan officer to manage the deal. Now, I'm only telling you this from experience of, of being a managing broker. I can tell you deals go sideways and the loan I get on the phone to the loan officer, the loan officer gets on the phone to either his manager or right to the underwriting manager and gets the loan moving. This happens, I don't know, 50, 60% of the time, some intervention is needed. So to think about the rocket mortgage loan working is sort of an insane proposition because you applied on an app on a phone, not with a person, right? And then you maybe talk to somebody in the process, but that person isn't necessarily someone that the listing agent can talk to or that your agent can talk to. And if it is, the distance between that person and the underwriting department is some unknown quality quantity because who knows where they are? The whole thing is decentralized. Having a local underwriter, having someone in your city that the loan officer uses makes an enormous difference. 
And who cares about that is the listing agent, the person representing the seller. And in a competitive market, they're gonna take the most money on a deal that they think is gonna close on time. And there is no evidence that a rocket mortgage loan is gonna close on time. Rocket mortgage is in that bucket. It's actually at the bottom of the bucket with big banks, uh, uh, Navy, federal, anything with the, with the government and banking, horrible to do business with. Navy, federal, USAA, terrible to do business with because there's so many layers between the person that's gonna release the funds and the loan officer. Wells Fargo, Bank of America, all fit into that bucket. Your credit union fits in that bucket. A locally uh, uh, underwritten loan, even if it's a large company, Loan Depot, uh, Fairway, uh, Caliber Home Loans, that, you know, those are big national companies, but the underwriting department is just a step away from the loan officer. And that's key. And nobody talks about that. I, I, I've done other things about how you could find a good loan officer, but the, the particular sort of uh, lever there is in that bucket of those terrible situations, those terrible solutions, none of those solutions depend on a, someone talking about what a great job they did. Where the, everyone in that bucket gets their business from is either convenience, like your bank, Wells Fargo, you bank there anyway, so you walk in, so it's easier. No one ever said, oh my God, you've got to use my Wells Fargo loan officer. I got such a... People don't talk about their those kinds of loans because they're because they're not great. <laughs> they don't do a really good job. And Rocket Mortgage doesn't talk doesn't have people refer them. They spend a trillion dollars on having Anna Kendrick come out and spend a billion dollars on a Super Bowl ad and have Barbie be there. That's how they get their business. That's that bucket. A loan officer that your realtor recommends to you or your friends recommend to you is way more valuable. Why? Because they recommended them. They're not getting a kickback, they're recommending them because they get the deal done. That's the important part here is you wanna get the deal done, not have it be easy to apply. Now, let's get into that. That's the meta problem with Rocket Mortgage. To use Rocket Mortgage as a solution, you already need to be of the mindset of, I wanna make this as, as mindless as possible. That's a problem. This is the most expensive thing you're ever gonna buy. You're gonna pay for it for 30 years. It's the most complex legal transaction of most people's lives. It's the most emotionally laden situation. It's where you live. You do it every 10 years, so everything changes every time you do it. You're trying to get that to work with the ease of which you order an Uber. That is an insane proposition. No, on something that big of a deal, you should not be trying to get that to be mindless. Instead of getting that to be fast, you want to get that to be slow. You want to slow that process down so that you're not used by all your cognitive biases, so that you're not sucked into a situation that you can't get out of. You want to get a trusted advisor to walk with you through that process, not an app. It makes no sense to put the largest financial transaction of your life in the same bucket as ordering an Uber. It's a crazy value proposition. That's the meta problem. So if you're applying with a rocket mortgage loan, you're already signaling to everyone that you don't want to think about this very much. Okay, but if you don't want to think about it, that means you're asking the seller to take on that risk. You're taking the seller listing agent is now going to be dealing with someone who doesn't want to think about it very much. That is also a competitive disadvantage and just generally a bad idea. So like you have a family physician, like you have a, I don't know, a CPA or an accountant that you trust, get yourself a real estate team that you trust before you step into the largest financial transaction of your life. Get a realtor you trust, get a lender you trust, and move forward that way. Slowly educate yourself. You're not gonna do it, but every 10 years, there's no reason to rush through it. So that's why I posted this meme, where is she? There she is. Hey, Barbie. That's right. Barbie got pre-approved by Rocket Mortgage. That's wonderful. She should get herself a dollhouse. You want a real house? You should slow down. Okay. And that's why. You got questions about that or things you want to know more about or anything like that? Let me know. Aaron Hendon with Christine Company over at EXP Realty. Peace out, Barbie.